The report is quite a bit to unpick and there's a lot of detail from 2018 and 2019. But for 2020, it specifically talks about the impact of COVID and how it's having an immediate and disruptive impact on how drugs are sold, how they're consumed and law enforcement as well. And in particular, as you mentioned there in relation to drug dealing, because of the curbs on freedom of movement and so on, the restrictions there, drug dealers have had to be more in inventive uh, to, as to how they sell their drugs. And what they've been using is things like the postal service. They've been uh, delivering. They've been also using the dark web to get orders online without then having to use cash, for example. Um, but we've also saw in the report that during this period of COVID and the restrictions, there was a, a fewer people using so-called party drugs like cocaine and MDMA pills as well. But the report is at pains to say that it's likely that this was just for that period alone and not some sort of dramatic reduction altogether. Shona, what about the users? Is there a big disparity or change in terms of uh, the demographics? Well, not quite the demographics per se, uh, but let's say one of the most, I suppose, significant things in the report is in relation to the use of cocaine, uh, that that has increased uh, quite significantly. Uh, specifically, in, uh, they know this because of seizures. Uh, there was a seizure of cocaine of 181 tonnes in the EU in 2018. That's up from 137 tonnes in 2017. Uh, they, use, uh, they also use uh, testing of wastewater in 45 cities and have detected a huge amount of cocaine use there. And the median age of people who use cocaine is around 23, but it does go in through all ages. And um, One of the other issues around uh, in the report talks about heroin users and that the majority of those who've died from heroin overdoses are in the age group of over 50 and that the entrant, the entrant age to heroin use has actually increased. So um, fewer people at a young age are taking heroin, it appears anyway, in this report. So there's quite a bit of interesting things, but I think in particular when you look at uh, the cocaine use around Europe. I think that is something that the authorities will be looking at most closely.